What's up? I, I don't know, don't ask me, I thought it's going to be a good intro. I real- I I'm sorry. WWE 2K18 is coming out soon and I will do a lot, a lot, a lot of content on 2K18. Career mode, universe, GM mode, so if you wanna be a booker on GM mode, we're going to do it just like we did with SmackDown vs. Red 2008. If you pledge any amount on Patreon, you will have a lot to do with universe GM mode booking. So if you have the ability, make sure to donate one dollar, that's completely enough, thank you very much, the link is in the description. Either way, you get my point, 2K18 is going to be big on this channel. However, you know Tony Pizza Guy, I saw on his Twitter that he responded that this must be a troll, and it's an article that says 15 reasons WWE 2K18 is going to suck, like it's going to suck. John, 2K18 is going to suck. I don't know why I keep doing Nikki Bella impressions, it's just... It already has a fake Roman Reigns poster and The Rock for some reason, it, it's already like, looks like a shitty article. Do it? Oh man. I'm not gonna bother reading all of this, I really don't give a shit. But there are 15 reasons why it's going to suck, 15! I couldn't even tell 15 reasons why WWE 2K17 was not the best game ever. I did a video about how it's going to be the best game ever and, and it wasn't. I'm sorry. 15 reasons! F 15 you, you have to come up with 15 reasons. How is this possible? Anyway, anyway, I'm sorry. I, I'm just gonna continue. Number 15. They are focusing on the graphics too much. Fuck you. I'm sorry guys, I'm on that coffee again. I'm on that coffee again. I have to turn it down a bit because I don't want to end up like willpower on drama alert. One of the most coveted features from other 2K titles such as the 2K NBA franchise has featured some of amazing graphics that simulated real life NBA action and progressed the sports game g genre. Either way, generic things written. Sure, it is something that is welcome addition, but it is still a clear case of too little too late. So what he's trying to say, yeah, 2K17 didn't have good graphics. We don't need it in 2K18, you know, you didn't give it, I don't want it anymore, I don't want it, no, I don't want it, too late, too late bitch, too late, you know, like kids act when they don't get the candy and you give it to them later and they're like, I don't want it anymore, no, 2K17 didn't have good graphics, I don't fuck with that shit, no. On top of this, it would appear as though, as they completely and entirely focus on the new graphics, they forgot to add some depth to the game in terms of modes and features. Are you serious? And if the game wouldn't have good graphics, he would put number 15, they are not focusing on the graphics at all. Y you know, you know these type of people. Whoever wrote this, he should know that I just hurt my finger while... Oh. Number 14 reason why the game is going to be a disaster. The game is going to be a disaster just for one, for this reason, that doesn't have to do anything with 2K, it has to do all, all of it with WWE, it's not 2K's fault. <clears throat> no CM Punk, no CM Punk in the game, I don't buying that shit. No CM Punk in the game, no, no, none of that buying. <laughs> I just found that out, give me my money back 2K, okay? give me my money back. Maybe this sounds like a wishful thinking from an uppity mark. Yes, you just answered it and I'm going to move on. Number 13, why the game is going to be a total disaster and it's going to suck. Custom entrance music is not returning. We... Thank you. Which also doesn't have anything to do with 2K or WWE, it's a fault of the next gen for some reason. It doesn't allow us to do that, I, I guess. Anything is possible in the WWE, and this feature came back, it would finally allow us to at least put cult of personality on our created CM Punk wrestlers. This guy is sucking Punk's dick so much in this article. Everything has to do with CM Punk, like, guy is not in the game, okay? I, I would really love to have custom music, but it's not a reason why the game would suck. Yes, I do think that it takes a lot of value from, um... Uh, created wrestlers, so I, I really don't like, uh, for, this, for example, Chris, not Jericho coming out with some generic Kelly Kelly music or something, I'm not a fan. Twelfth reason, no promises, whatever the f that means. Most people that watch trailers and screenshots of WWE 2K18 have been dazzled by the new graphics. F the graphics, I don't like that. No, keep the graphics. Seem to forgotten that there are a lot of ignored factors that should be in the game. One of the largest one is lack of movements and the 
individualization of the variable factors in their wrestling moves. WWE only features a few different types of the same DDT or suplex. It just seems plain lazy to not include the ability to customize a certain move by using a pose system of sorts. It's such... Dude! I think there is a new selling system, so you know, if you have a lot of damage taken, you will sell the move a little bit differently. Not a lot, but a little bit. Damn, this article is terrible. Number 11! Trying too hard! So in first you, you rant about the game, how it's too lazy, you know, you're too lazy, it's kinda too lazy, and then you're saying, trying too hard, okay. This may be an unpopular opinion, no shit, but perhaps the overheld graphics of the 2K franchise might be a step in the wrong direction. Again, the graphics. Th this guy hates the graphics. Take my PlayStation 2, enjoy the graphics. Number 10, lacking a huge modern star. What, what does that even mean? Huge mo modern, modern star. Seth Rollins is in the game, he's actually on the cover. Dean Ambrose is in the game. AJ Styles is in the every, every, I think everyone. Except the Hardys and Drew McIntyre, but they are DLC. I don't think any huge member is not in the game. I'm, I really think so. For example, Drew McIntyre is limited to a DLC role. This is a shame that considering, but you do realize that the games are not made in one day. And they cannot include everyone in the game. I think it's around WrestleMania time and we are lucky that we even got Hardys and Drew McIntyre as DLC. It's really terrible. Who wrote this article? It might be a rehash of an old game. You keep complaining, oh, I wish they would make something like Here Comes the Pain or No Mercy, but then once it happens, oh, it's, it's the same shit. Same. I don't, I don't fuck with the same shit. There are a lot of similarities between 2K18's Creative Suite and the No Mercies. That's what he says. Hall of Fame Showcase Dilemma. I don't really get that, how it's a... okay. Something that was instantly loved by the people who have been hardcore fans of the franchise, short venture into new waters was the addition of the Hall of Fame Showcase Mode. I really didn't care about that, I haven't even played it. I really hate the Showcase Mode itself, I think I can just watch that on the WWE Network and there's no reason for me to replay that. I'm sorry. Still no finishing touch. So create a finisher is not in the game. I gotta agree, that's, that's bad, I, I wish it was in the game. However, it's not a reason why it's going to suck. It might suck, but not because of that. You know? The commentary still sucks. I agree. That's... That's... It's better. It's kinda better. But the, the commentary needs work. It always... It's always the issue in the WWE games. Commentary is... You cannot compare that to NBA, like, I think it's... yeah, it, it's bad. The music is curated by someone who does terrible music, so The Rock so the Rock chose the music for the game and that's gonna suck because the game was going to be terrible because The Rock chose the, the soundtrack for the game. That is one of the reasons why the game is going to be terrible, okay. Got one legendary team, lost another. WWE fans have been treated with the Hardy Boys. Unfortunately, fans who are looking to recreate some legendary tag matches of the Attitude Era will severely disappoint by the removal of the Dudley Boys. It is kinda, you know, sad, but not something that would break the game. And he, he never forgets to say that. He never, he never, you know, you just expected something with the Attitude Era, with old times, not exactly Attitude Era, but with older times, so who's missing in the game? Just like CM Punk, this is a huge removal from the game that has an impact that is immeasurable in almost every single way imaginable. Sim CM Punk's not inclusion in the game is in every way imaginable bad, every way imaginable. Even your anus starts to hurt when you find out CM Punk is not in the game. The Switch version is watered down, so it has 6 men instead of 8 men, while the other games didn't... Correct, correct me if I'm wrong, it's the first time WWE game is actually on Switch, so how is it going to break a game if it's for the first time ever on Switch, and you can just not buy that, you can buy it on other consoles? It might be delayed, it might be, but maybe it's not. You don't know that. What are you talking? Misleading advertisements. Sure, all the footage, screenshots, developer diaries, and first-hand accounts have been overwhelmingly positive, but after years and years of supposed upgrades of the WWE franchise, 
being consistently disappointing true fans of the series have taken all of this information with a grain of salt. It could be a lost cause at this point and the window of opportunity may have passed for many faithful fans of the older game games in this series. Sure, W2K18 might be an impressive game, but if it but if the past was to define the future, it would be another disappointing installment that full that fails to reach the expectations of the dedicated fan base. This is not to say that they're lying to us, but it would definitely not be the first time that they mislead us to believe the game is better than it really is and it's the oldest trick in the book. You realize that it's their job to advertise their game, to hype it. If I would be a game developer, I wouldn't be like, yeah, so we created the new game, WWE 69. It has good graphics, though the gameplay sucks. The gameplay, I mean, I want you to buy the game, but if you don't, no, don't buy it. No, 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 the gameplay sucks. You know, some people might like it, but I think you won't. Mm -mm, it sucks. It doesn't make any sense. It's supposed to be like that. And I don't think 2K17 was even bad. It wasn't bad. It was disappointing, yes, but you never know. This article was one of the worst things I've ever read. I think at this time it would be a right moment for Chris Jericho to stick out his large list of <laughs> his large list of Jericho and put this on his list. Damn it. Anyways guys, let me know in the comments below what you think about it. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Patreon, thank you for the support. The great one. Peace, love and hugs. It's been a pleasure. <laughs>